everybody, it's Tiffany here, coming at you from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Today is the last day of our Better Together release sale. So I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial video showcasing how I'm using the Better Together sets, specifically Tightrope Prayers, Tamara's, free admission, and the papers from Unchanging God. And I'm incorporating these into some scripture writing. Why? Because just within the first week of Step Right Up, there are 21 scriptures, I believe. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 scriptures. So what I have planned out in my TN for Step Right Up, I have my weekly spread here, and now I want to incorporate scripture writing throughout the week. And the reason why that is, is because Lisa has challenged us to be in the word um, with God every morning for an hour before we do anything. So I thought the best way to start would be in scripture and trying to memorize some of those scriptures here. I'm not gonna do all 22, but I do wanna do about 13 or 14 spread out throughout my pages. So in addition to these supplies, I'm going to be using the Legitus Mini Alpha, I also have this older stamp set, Journal Crush, and I have my stamp blocks that I'll need, an ink, some scissors, and of course, my date stamp. So, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is cut out all of those amazing illustrations from your Better Together printables, or whatever you have on hand. My biggest tip is to cut out a variety of sizes. So I have some larger sizes, some medium florals, and also some smaller tidbits, which are those little confetti pieces that Shauna included in her Print and Pray set. Once you have them all cut out, now you can sort them into the various sizes. This is going to help you um, not have to think so hard along the way. So I have large, medium, and small. And now you can audition the different printable pieces that you've chosen and get them into place. My favorite thing to print them off on is this Mako Clear sticker paper. You can get it off of Amazon. It's very inexpensive. And you can see through it as you're placing it. So say you have text or some other work already on the page, it just really helps to see where you're positioning it before you actually commit to it. And always peel off one side and then peel off the other side. That way you don't end up with a warp clear sticker image. Once you've gotten everything in place, you're going to take the Journal Crush stamp set or maybe even just a pen and a ruler and you want to create different sized journaling spots for your scripture because we all know that sometimes the scripture is really long, it's going to need a larger spot, sometimes it's going to be um, in the middle and so it maybe needs a medium size. So for this one, I'm stamping it twice. And then sometimes the scriptures are really short and sweet and you only need a few lines of text. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm making sure that I'm varying it up. Um, I'm placing some larger, some smaller, and some medium elements. And it always helps to position larger pieces of ephemera and larger journaling blocks um, in a triangle pattern that's called the rule of thirds. That way your eye doesn't settle on one part of your page. And of course I have two different spreads for the week because there are so many scriptures. <laughs> so I'm just continuing this same concept on my second spread.
Once you have everything in position, now you can add your numbers. I'm using the mini Legitus Alpha stamp and I'm just using the numbers. It's gonna go one through 12. And you can see I have a piece of foam underneath the paper so that my stamped images come out nice and even. Next, you wanna take those smaller pieces of a sticker paper or ephemera and you want to fill in the spaces. My tip is to not focus on one thing at a time or going in one direction at a time but to vary it up. Um, that way it's more balanced and your eye doesn't settle on one part of your page. And I love these word fetties from Tamara and those little bits of confetti from Shauna for filling in all of those little spaces um, that would otherwise go empty. For my finishing touch, I'm going to go ahead and add a title with my Motex label maker. It's just gonna say scripture writing. So here comes the fun part, our scripture writing. And my main verse that I'm gonna focus on is, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds and to put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Ephesians 4.22. I love this verse because this week Lisa's challenged us to spend one hour in the Word. And I feel like this is such a great scripture to begin with and to dive into. And then of course I'm going over to, I believe it's just one of the best scriptures for any scripture writing plan to begin with. For the Word of God is alive and active. I just love that and it fits perfectly right there in that spot and that's from Hebrews 4.12. Don't forget your date stamps. And there you go. So you can see I have my week one all ready to go. And of course, you know, what I'm going to do for week two is get this all set up and then daily write in those scriptures. But I wanted to give you guys a good example of what your finished scripture writing layouts could look like, all with print and pray printables, which is amazing. So don't forget to check out illustratedfaith.com. Join us with the Step Right Up kit. Also, don't forget that all of the Better Together sets are 20% off through the end of today. And leave me a comment. Let me know which scripture is the one that really um, made an impression on you as you did your reading this week. Again, my name is Tiffany and thanks for watching. Bye.